Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I know, look at <laughs> This is my heat press family. So maybe it was perfect that I got to do that Joanne's Cricut collaboration to do this Easy Press 3 because clearly I love my heat presses. Um, now, I have an 8-in-1 actual um, heat press that you crank down, you know, like um, like one of those big ones with all the attachments, eight in one. It comes with a mug press, a hat press, um, all that stuff. I have that, but it's clunky, it's big, and so I don't always go and use it. I don't really have a place for it in my art room, so when I do use it, I actually have to move it out of its storage spot into a place that I can use it, So, which is why I like this. I also like these because, um, well, we'll talk about each one of them. I love my mug press. I know it's, I believe it's $200, um, but I've made maybe, I don't know, I've made countless, I've bought many, many, many mugs and I've made many. I've yet to make a mug on my eight in one heat press because this has literally one button. There's nothing on here it's so easy um yeah it's so easy and I use it the other one I haven't I haven't quite I'm nervous about using the attachments I'm not sure how it works exactly and as you may know from my previous video I'm not good at reading directions so that's why I love this piece I love this little guy because this is for when I don't the whole project doesn't need heat um, for little things, touch-ups, fix things, shoes, hats. I love it. I will say that Joanne's is sending me a hat press. So I, I wanted, part of me wants to just go out and buy it so that I can have it, but they told me they're sending it to me. So I'm going to wait, but I will then have a hat press. Um, so I won't use this for hats anymore. I'll use the hat press unless there's a spot where, I don't know, maybe my daughter was picking at it or something happened, I need to fix it. This is nice to apply the heat to exactly where I want to. I also use this a lot for my paper projects. I love using HTV on paper, on cardstock for many reasons. Uh, it gives you a whole set of colors available to you, colors and textures, right? Um, it can also handle more delicate, intricate designs um and also sometimes it's just faster if i have like if i'm typing out happy birthday and there it's not a cursive font then i have to apply and glue each letter right the h the a the p p y um whereas if i had it on htv and it had an outline i would just press it in like five seconds and i'm done it's straight it's perfectly aligned um and yeah i don't have glue everywhere and i'm not it all cut properly so that's why I like this guy. Moving on, why do I have this one? I have this one because it's bigger, but not too big. Because sometimes the 12 by 10 is too big and I don't need that. So that's why I went with the six by seven. And then of course I had to have this one. Um, and this one is, actually I have one more. I actually have a 12 by 10 Easy Press 2. Um, I won that from a Cricut pop-up, but I believe I started with this one, added this one, and then now I have my Easy Press 3. I would say that between these two and this, they are all the same. There was no upgrade in, um, in the specs of the actual product, okay? So like this one, the weight, for example, between the 12 by 10 Easy Press 2 and the 12 by 10 Easy Press 3 was negligible. Um, the only difference between this one and the Easy Press 2 is that it comes with the Bluetooth uh, phone app, the, the heat app. The heat app is actually pretty cool. So what I would say is before I start talking about any more about these things, I think the ideal user for the Easy Press 3 is someone that is buying an Easy Press for the first time. If you already have an Easy Press 2, I that means, you know, I'm gonna make some assumptions. You've already done a couple of projects, you know how to go online, access the the heat guide, 
where you select the machine that you have, you select the material that you're use that you're going to press onto, and then you select the actual material that you're using, like foil or glitter iron on. So you go onto your desktop and you can access that. You know how to use your heat press. If you're brand new, what's nice is this heat press app, which I'm going to bring up in a second. Um, all right, so it's lost. Okay, what's nice is when you go over here, let me see, let me start over. So it's going to update, sorry. I should have done that before. What's nice is it's on your phone. So you're going to turn on your Easy Press 3, get onto your app, and you're going to start your new project. So you're going to enter in, I'm using glitter iron on. I'm pressing it on a um, cotton, you know, cotton t-shirt. Okay, so it's done. All right, I'm going to turn this on. All right, so let's walk through this app. Okay, there we go. Okay, give me a second. Let me zoom in so you can see my app. Okay. I know it's still kind of hard to see. Okay, I'm starting it. Start new project. Your last use, oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's asking me to update again. Um, it has a few of your last projects. Uh, so you can go in there and just do that. Um, if you, you know, constantly do the same kind of t-shirts um, or you just start new. Now, with the heat app, you could override it. You don't have to use the heat app every time you use this. You can just override it, turn it on, and do your settings like you normally would with the Easy Press 2 or the Easy Press 1. Okay, so it's done. So, um, gotcha. Of course, it's going to happen while I'm doing this. Okay, start new project. Um, transfer material. I'm going to select foil iron on. What am I ironing on? I'm going to do cotton poly blend. So next, send settings to Easy Press. So when I click that, what will happen is, oh my gosh, why is it, oh, it wants me to update again. It will update the heat and the time for the pre-press. Then it will, once I hit the, you know, the go button, then it will do the countdown, right? I'm pressing it. Then it will then send the next step over. So it will update the time to how much I need to do to actually press the material. Then it will remind me I need to flip and press it, and then it will update the time and the temperature again. <laughs> of course, when it's working. Right now, I don't know, I have it needed to update. So um, that is all very nice. It gives you just enough instructions where I'm still reading it, but not like so something super lengthy. So it is, awesome for someone who doesn't have any of these products right here to buy this one. If you're buying it for the first time, you're like, I definitely want an Easy Press. Which one do I get? I do recommend the Easy Press 3 um, because it's all it's all there for you. Oh my goodness. This is not <laughs> this is not a good time to do this. My Easy Press is acting up right now. Okay. All right. So um I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Um, so it's saying preheat the blank, apply light pressure 15 seconds. So it's 15 seconds. Once I hit this, it's then it's saying, okay, I'm pressing it. Obviously I'm not, but I want to go through the motions so that you can see it because it's working. <laughs> um, I, I haven't had to update it that many times. So it's just, um, although they did have an update last night, maybe. Okay. So that's step. Now it's saying second step, press. You're gonna do it for 30 seconds, apply light pressure. This updated to 30 seconds, and I'm gonna press it. Okay, so it's gonna do the countdown for the 30 seconds, and then it'll tell me when. Again, you can override this and use it just like you would the Easy Press 2 and 1, okay? So you can always do that, because you know if you're doing some funky project that's not programmed in here, and you know what you need to do, that's there as well. You can do that. Um, the other thing is it comes in this new light blue. I've heard some of you guys buy things based on the colors. 
no judgment. <laughs> All right, flip and press, 15 seconds. It updated to 15 seconds. So as you can see, it's really, really nice. So, all right, that's what I have for you. I'm trying to think if I missed anything else. Like I said, I, I'm excited for the hot press. I haven't tried it. I can't wait for Joann's to send it to me. Um, so I will do a review when I get that as well. But I did, if you remember just a few weeks ago, I did a bunch of softball visors for my daughter's softball team. And I had to roll up a paper towel, I mean, roll up a towel so that I had enough pressure. I'm super looking forward to that little round piece thing to go in to hold my hat in place. So, all right, that's all I have for you. I will see you next time. Let me know, comments, questions, special requests, all that stuff. I'm reading the comments. Thanks guys, bye.